Whataburger is for sale? Here's how to stop it. Now folks, this news is terrifying. Whataburger is looking for investors. Now what the heck is going on? Is it for sale? What if they change the menu? What is happening? That's what everybody in Texas is asking themselves when they heard the news that Whataburger is looking for investors. Texans are on the edge of their seat. Who, who are these investors from? Are they, are they even Texan? You know what happens when you let these foreign pesky investor types in? And when I say foreign, I mean, you know, people from Oklahoma or God forbid, New Mexico. The next thing you know, they're trying to change things. At first, they suggest a small change, like, hey, why don't you move the fryers in the kitchen over here on this side and the little things like that. But then over time, they propose changes, maybe to the menu itself. What? Ah, sit down, investors from other states. You don't know nothing about delicious burger making. And from there, the company might actually consider selling the whole company itself. Say it ain't so, Dobson family, the owners of Whataburger. See, Whataburger is Texas. Texas is Whataburger. Selling Whataburger should be stopped by the state as an affront to all things that are great about the great state of Texas. Here's what I think Texas should do. Turn Whataburger into the fast food hamburger version of the Green Bay Packers. What am I talking about? Football. Am I, am I saying that we should let th patrons throw hamburgers around the dining room? Am I saying that the, the staff should throw fries like a pass through the window at cars in the drive through line? Well, that's, that's not what I'm saying. Although, that would be a lot of fun. Okay, I want you to go long uh, down to the soda machines, button hook it, and I'll hit you in the gizzard with my Whataburger patty melt. That would be fun. No, what I mean is Texas should buy Whataburger and turn it into a public trust like the Green Bay Packers. I don't know if you knew that, the public the uh, Green Bay Packers are a corporation, publicly owned, nonprofit corporation, owned mostly by people within the city of Green Bay that wear cheese heads on their uh, head every day going to public schools. Okay, since they were four years old, they wear that cheese head hat. The Packers became a publicly owned nonprofit corporation in 1923. They currently have over 350,000 <clears> stockholders who own over 5 million shares of stock. That's what Whataburger should do. Now, one of the rules of my version of a new Whataburger is that each share must be owned by a Texan. Every share. Not a fake Texan who just moved from Wisconsin to get out of the cold. A real life, born and bred Texan who was raised on Whataburgers, who's parents and grandparents and great-grandparents were all raised on Whataburgers. Next, build a new headquarters in a new town called Whataburger. The town features the new headquarters, new stores featuring nothing but Whataburger merch, and a new amusement park called Whataburger Land. At Whataburger Land, employees are trained to answer every patron comment with the company slogan, just like you like it. And the most popular ride, well, let me give an example of that. The uh, patron walks by and says, really nice day today, hey? And then and the, uh, Whataburger Land uh, worker says, just like you like it. See how that works? And the most popular ride is called the Cheddar Scream Machine, a death-defying ride around the inside of a giant chop house cheddar burger. See, this plan will keep Whataburger in the hands of Texans where it belongs, the people who made it what it is today. It's rare that a state and a company 
love and depend on each other so much. My plan will keep Whataburger in the hearts of every Texan, literally and figuratively.